Hello and welcome again as we consider another multiple choice question for IB Chemistry. Today's question is based on the very familiar Haber process for the manufacture of ammonia. And it says, which factors will increase the equilibrium concentration of ammonia? And here you have the two factors, increase in pressure and increase in temperature. Let's begin with the second one first, increase in temperature. The Haber process is an exothermic reaction. You can tell that because delta H is negative 91 kilojoules. Once delta H is negative, you know you have an exothermic process. When you have an exothermic process, it means you are considering a reaction profile that looks something like this, with reactants having more energy than products. So, it means that an increase in temperature is going to favor this direction, products to reactants more because it's got the bigger barrier to cross, and it's going to be less favorable for this. So the forward reaction in the Haber process would be favored by lower temperatures. It's going to change the equilibrium concentration because you should know that temperature is the only factor that can change Kc, the equilibrium constant. It sets up a new equilibrium in this system and it would create a new value for Kc. And you might think that when you increase the pressure, equilibrium would be shifted from where you have more volumes or more moles of reactants to where you have less, in keeping with the familiar Le Chatelier's principle. And it does do that, but that increase in pressure amounts to a simple increase in concentration. And for a while, when the pressure is increased, it's going to push the equilibrium or shift it towards this side, making this concentration increase. When this concentration increases, then the rate of the reverse process would also increase. And then in time, you would have an equilibrium that is not going to be any different from the previous equilibrium. So all the pressure does is it drives the reaction forward faster. It does increase the rate of the reaction, which is why the Haber process happens at a high temperature. But increasing the rate does not mean that it would change the equilibrium concentration of ammonia. So the equilibrium concentration of ammonia would not be increased by an increase in pressure even though that increase in pressure ships the equilibrium this way, it doesn't change the equilibrium concentration and it doesn't change Kc. Now, with a change in temperature, that does affect Kc, but the question says an increase in the equilibrium concentration. And of course, this is an exothermic reaction. It's one where the forward reaction has a smaller barrier to cross than the reverse reaction. So increasing the temperature in this system, in this system where the reverse reaction is endothermic or having the bigger barrier to cross, that would favor the reverse process. And if it favors the reverse process, it means the concentration of ammonia at equilibrium is going to fall. So it would not lead to an increase in the equilibrium concentration. In fact, it would lead to a decrease in the equilibrium concentration that increase in temperature because again this is an exothermic reaction going forward and an endothermic reaction going in reverse and the endothermic reaction with the bigger barrier benefits more or is favored more by the higher temperature because it's got that bigger barrier one is not correct and two is not correct so your answer is d neither one nor two